Okay, so here's my Easy Pal tutorial, and hopefully this will get you set up using Easy Pal. Or oh, this is my settings anyway. Go up to Set Set up at the top. You'll see the drop down box at the very top. It says Use Windows Open Dialog. I've got that checked, uh, and then then a bit further down. I've got picture downsizing TX only go across I've got checked right at the very bottom best no resizing slower encode and decode that's the setting I've got checked there in encode options I've got the very first one checked very light encode um, this refers to other real radio operation, but for Hamsphere you just need very light encode because of the conditions. So the very first one, I've got that checked. Further down, BSR mode automatic, that's recommended. Uh, repeat header, highly recommended and always on, I've got that checked. And underneath that, you don't have to have checked, but I have tag rx files with call sign time and mode and that should uh, just put your information within the image that you send that's what I've got on this part and at the top where it's got set up C stroke S sound card PTT go across you'll see call sign click on call sign you see the box open up. That's uh, obviously you put your call sign in there, and then click OK. Go back up to setup, and setup stroke uh, CS sound card and PTT, and go on to sound card. This one's quite important. In my uh, in my box you can see mic, what you hear, speaker, and SPDIF. With uh, EasyPal you, you have to assign your sound card correctly otherwise it won't work. So for my sound card it's what you hear and obviously your speaker for TX. Um, but... Um, <coughs> Your sound card might say, in the RX box, it might say stereo mix. So what you have to do is you click on your stereo mix or your, what you hear in the RX box, TX box. You click on the speaker and then you click on assign, which is here. I won't do mine because mine's already assigned, but that's what you need to do in there. And at the bottom it says, after assign, some systems may need... Uh, easy pal to be rebooted so uh, just a sound assign your sound card uh, and then restart easy pal so that's that part and once you've uh, once you've re assigned your sound card go back into it and check that it is correct so you go into setup C C stroke s sound card PTT go into sound card and it should be highlighted if you've assigned it correctly it should like my you can see mine you can see it highlighted mine's already done go up into action in action uh, the only settings that you need to uh, change or you might need to change is quick select TX mode because Hamsphere is not real radio, it's simulated, then uh, you need the second one down, or I use the second one down, which is A stroke 2.4 stroke LO, stroke 64, stroke 12, second box down. There's no ticks for it, you just literally click on it. And if you click on it, what you'll see up here in the TX box is exactly the same settings that you've just chosen. If you use any other settings, it will it will show you in this box here. 
in the TX. And that's basically it. That's all the um, the settings that I use. And it seems to be pretty much bomb proof. Um, I never really have any problems at all with uh, sending or receiving easy power if uh, the other station has got theirs set up correctly. And just quickly, just to load an image at the top, go to load pick. Uh, choose an image. We'll have this one. That puts the image into your TX box. Here's your RX box, TX box. And then go over to transmit. Now you can see it uploading to the web server. And as soon as that's uploaded, which is now, you'll see another box come up with confirm. Click OK to transmit file, or you can cancel. So what you do now is you key up, or PTT Hamsphere, and then click OK, and that image will send across to Hamsphere. I'll just click it to show you what happens. You see over here it comes up a ball. That's loading at the moment. And that's it. That image is sent. It's as quick as that. If you click a, a bolt whilst the image is, is sending, obviously the image will stop. But as soon as the image has finished sending, over here it will change from a bolt to transmit. And then you'll wait for the uh, image to come in from the station that you're working. And then you'll load another picture and then go on. So... Uh, that's the settings I have. It seems to work really well. And uh, hopefully this will help you get up and running on easy pal. Thanks for watching. See you on here, hopefully.